Wow. Class of 2025, you made it. You moved through the wildest school year anyone could have ever imagined and you are on your way to high school. Since you started middle school, we've been talking about being on the path to success. PATH stands for Perseverance, Achievement, Thoughtfulness, and Health. And those are our school's four core values. You've probably heard people talk about operating with integrity. And to me, that means your actions match your words. It means living your core values, especially in the most difficult of times. Strictly thinking about your school experience this year, you have demonstrated perseverance time and time again. You've been in a roller coaster and you've held on tight. From remote learning to, for some, hybrid learning in a three week rotation, and then two days a week rotation, and finally, consistent in person experience. You become experts in Canvas, Zoom, and lots of virtual tools such as Nearpod, Cami, Pear Deck, Edge Elastic, and so many more. And I know your school experience is just the tip of the iceberg. The pandemic challenged each of us on a personal level. You navigated change after change to strengthen your adaptability. Some of you developed more independence as you experienced more alone time than ever before. Others of you leaned into patience as you were with the same people around the clock for longer periods of time than ever before. Some of you and your families faced extreme challenges of instability related to illness, loss of employment, reduced incomes, and or the loss of loved ones. Everyone faced some level of challenge during the pandemic. One of the things our staff at school has discussed is guidance from Brene Brown. Brene Brown says, comparative suffering helps no one. What does that mean? It means that your feelings are important. When I'm stressed, I'm stressed, even if someone else might have more to be stressed about. When I'm scared, I'm scared, even if someone else might have bigger fears to face. When I'm sad, I'm sad, even if someone else has experienced greater loss. It's okay to experience our emotions. And it's important to validate the emotions of others, even when you personally may not understand those emotions because we all respond to situations differently. Think about how people respond when they're uncomfortable. Some people shut down, some people laugh nervously, and some people cry. We're all different and that's okay. And so then the question is, how do we come together as a community to support each other through our emotions? Brown also says, courageous leadership is empathy. Brave leaders are in the service of people. So I challenge you to be a brave leader, to care for those around you, to gain, gain strength from the shared experience you've had in the last year as we faced a pandemic on top of the real and normal struggles of moving through adolescence, but also to allow each person the space to work through their individual perspectives and responses, knowing that those around them care. Be a brave leader by pausing to observe, listen, give space at times, and lean in at other times. Do this for those around you and for yourself. So let's pause for a moment. Please close your eyes and listen. Keep your eyes closed. At a typical in-person promotion ceremony, there's a time when I ask the eighth graders in the auditorium to turn around and look at all the people in the audience as a reminder of the many people who have supported them on their journey. So eighth graders, rising ninth graders, Please take that moment now to visualize all the people who have helped you get where you are. You might see parents, family members, friends, teachers, school staff members, coaches, and whoever completes your circle. Think about the different ways people support you as listeners, accountability partners, and cheerleaders. Sometimes support means boundaries and structure. Sometimes it means a hug, and sometimes it means a good laugh at just the right moment. As you move into high school, you'll have a new and different set of challenges to face. 
that hopefully will have nothing to do with a pandemic. And I want you to remember these people who will continue to support you. You are not alone. You may open your eyes. And now I urge you to commit to being one of those supporters to one of your peers as well. High school is awesome and it's big and it's new and everyone is going to be establishing a new normal next year. Make a choice to support each other and continue to be brave leaders. Take Falcon Pride with you across the street or to whichever high school you're headed. As you leave Quail Hollow with our set of values, reflect on what values matter most to you. Perseverance, achievement, thoughtfulness, health, family, faith, compassion, kindness, empathy, justice, equity. Whatever your heart chooses, write down those values and operate with integrity by living those values each day, especially when it gets tough. And that brings me to one last Brene Brown quote and one last challenge I have for you as leaders. Brown says, daring leaders who live into their values are never silent about hard things. Whether the hard thing is challenges like those you've experienced during the pandemic, leaning into conversations and personal reflection about equity and anti-racism, the challenge of moving to a new school with more responsibility and new relationships to form, or the many other challenges you will face in the next year. Go back to your values and you will know what to do. Congratulations. Mis mejores momentos y memorias fueron con mis compañeros en los videos y memes, riéndonos y nos parábamos y nos regañaban. Gracias a mis maestras cuando estaba en mis momentos difíciles y me comprendían. Well, looks like we are officially ninth graders going to high school. Um, I'm excited, nervous, anxious, all over there at once. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just excited that that um, we're going to high school and these years have been different. Well, this year specifically has been different. Um, some of you I've known all since elementary, since the sixth, seventh, eighth, whenever I've known you. But I'm just excited and grateful that we get to go to another grade and another level uh, so we can be what we want to be and succeed to our dreams. It's just amazing how we've come this far and it's just amazing on how high school is going to be different but exciting at the same time. And I can't wait to see you grow and me grow at the same time.